hi, hello, welcome to my video, welcome back if you've been here before and hi if you are new. I'm Pixie and today we are doing the first build on Mariposa. Now I've finally decided that Mariposa is going to be a fairy tale, fairy core island. So basically I'm going to do very fairy-esque but also the tales so I want separate areas so like one area is going to be Alice in Wonderland and then maybe Goldilocks and the Three Bears and I haven't decided which fairy tales I want to do yet but that is the whole idea of this island and honestly I'm so excited. I've never done a sort of one themed island as such and I guess it's technically not one theme but it is. So I'm very known for, I say this, very known by my family. Um, I am very well known for doing sort of like a town and a woods or an area and then a shopping area. Whereas this, I want it to be all cohesive, all one style, which is a fairy core fairy tale island. I'm very excited. I don't know why I haven't done this before. Be I well. On one of my islands, Flossie, I know I've toured Flossie before, but that was when I'd finished it. Flossie had many, many, many different styles. One of those styles was sort of, it was a town, but it was pink. Because, let's say all together team, pink is my favourite colour. So, and obviously I'm using a pink path here, but my theory was, if I used a pink path, I could use blues and purples a lot in the flowers as well. I mean, just look at that beautiful flower selection. I'm so excited. But anyway, I am going to go. I'm not very well. I You can probably hear the sore throat. And unfortunately, I don't have any other time to film than when my children are not here. So I wanted to film this, get this video up, because I know some of you are really missing the Animal Crossing builds. They're back. Don't worry. I'm still doing them. Again... Animal Crossing is my favourite game of all time and it's where my channel's mainly based but I've been really enjoying doing The Sims. I love The Sims so it's sort of like um, kind of a selfish video because I enjoy playing it and I know some of you guys like it. And Stardew, I've just started but we have a timetable. I'm going to post the timetable somewhere so you guys can see. And yeah, we're back with the... Mario Posa builds and hopefully I think I've unlocked the Happy Home Paradise now. So I am going to cheat. I'm just going to open like 50,000 boxes <laughs> so I can have all the stuff before I start building on there again. So yeah. Anyway, I am going to go now because I said I'm going to go and my throat's getting sore. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the end to say goodbye. Enjoy!
that's it guys i am so happy with the way this has turned out i did have a template from pinterest on how to do the little butterfly pond because even with <laughs> the, like the detailed map or whatever you know plans i struggled my brain could not get around it but i did it and i'm so happy and obviously my reposer means butterfly so i had to have I had to have a butterfly pond and I am so happy so obviously what I've done is there's paths going off to different places now I am going to extend these paths obviously and they are going to go into different sections of the island which is going to have the characters of whichever fairy tale I'm telling the story of and yeah oh my god look how it's so beautiful honestly I I love this build so so much. It's one of the like my most proud buildings, and I know that sounds silly because I've obviously I've done quite a few, but yeah, oh I love it. And as always, if you've managed to get this far, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you think it's worth liking. Subscribe if you want to, because I upload all the time. Literally, I upload five days a week. No like six days a week um maybe five five or six days a week i upload all the time but yeah with that i'm, I'm just gonna go so hopefully i will see you in the next video fingers crossed okay bye